Are you excited? Oh, hi. The people love you. Hi. Say hi to Willie, everyone. Hi, Willie. Today, you're going to be seeing a compilation of my favorite recipes from the cookbook reviews that we've already done. It's divine. Divine. Really good. Everything from teff pancakes to Thai tacos. I love Thai food and I love tacos. And now I can have them both at the same time. A secret ingredient, chocolate pudding, and my new favorite, a brownie made from beets. Mm. We'll reference the cookbooks we use for each recipe. And if you're interested in purchasing one, you can find it in the description below. But first we'd like to say hello to some people who said hello to us. Joy from Seattle. Lori from Bartlett, Tennessee. Jennifer from Toronto, Ontario. Woo! Kelly from Wakeman, Ohio. Jackie from Minnesota. Joy from Ravenna, Ohio. Carolisa from Ackworth, Georgia. Deborah from South Carolina. And Janice from Southwest Washington. If you would like a shout out on PB with J, there are two ways you can get one. One is by putting your name and where you're from in the comments below. Or if you wanna bump the list and get to the top, then you could join our mighty network uh, of friends and we will bump you to the top of the list. You will also get uh, videos earlier. You will have a monthly live with Jeremy and sometimes me and sometimes Annie and sometimes Ephraim if you're lucky. And most importantly, you get to join a community of like-minded people who are all trying to eat better and make the world a little bit better place. All for the price of a crappy cup of coffee a month. That's a tongue twister. Crappy what? cup of coffee. Crappy cup of coffee. Say that ten times fast. Crappy cup of coffee. Crappy cup of coffee. Crappy cup of coffee. Fifteen minutes later. It's hard. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, share it with all your friends, and there was something else. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Notifications. Oh. I don't know what that means. Now for the recipes. For breakfast, I'm gonna make blueberry teff pancakes with lemon. Are you excited? Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't think I had to be on camera. You always have to be on camera. The people love you. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Willie, everyone. Mm -hmm. Hi, Willie. I've never used teff as a flour, but I've seen it in other recipes. And I've always thought, I don't have that. I'm not gonna make it. But for this video, I ordered some teff from this company who is not a sponsor, but could be. It's a pancake. You uh, you know you mix together your dry, you mix your wet, you combine them, put them on the stove. Top. I forgot the lemon zest, so I just added it in and I blend it again. And you add some blueberries. So this one I like. It says put the blueberries in once it's on the the pan, which is smart because then you get like proper blueberry distribution and you don't get that one person who has all the blueberries and the person who gets the last pancake with no blueberries somebody likes that no, no, it's not nice. and it says we can top it with uh plant-based yogurt and i just made another batch of homemade yogurt last night if you saw my last video that i did for what i eat in a week which is the plant pure cookbook i learned how to make yogurt and it's now a staple because it's so easy. It's so stupid easy. You should make yogurt. If you like yogurt. I'm gonna try these just on their own without adding anything. Oh gosh. Are doctors in my neck? That's the real pancake test, don't you think? Yeah, but you don't want to eat them. Basically. It's true. But I know what pancakes taste like when I put maple syrup on them. They taste awesome. Spoiler alert. Let me share. Oh, Wooly. I think you're gonna be very happy. Mmm, lemon. That lemon's really nice. But the, so good. But the teff is light. I've never thought of using teff as a grain for something. Pro I wonder if it's expensive. They're really good. Really good. Really good. I love them. So on the package it says teff is good for like baked goods. I might try to make some cookies with these. Mm. With teff. Teff, solid find. If our daughter ever wakes up, I'll let you know what she thinks. It's so lemony. What was your reaction to the pancake? It looks like a 
ginger snap cookie. Is that a good thing? No. Do you want any banana or blueberry? Sometimes that's all the review you need from Annie. Going for a second bite. Any any words to go with that? Yummy. We like it. This has been a good cookbook. For dinner, we're gonna make lentil skillet lasagna. I know what you're saying. You already made a lasagna from this cookbook. Why are you making another one? I would argue, why are there two lasagnas in this cookbook? Uh, because it's made in a skillet and I've never done it before. And the other one was a pesto and I've never done that before either. So that's that's how it rolls around here. I do the things that I wanna make. This is really, really easy. It looks like it's all done just in the skillet. Essentially, you just, you, I don't know. Here's the thing that kills me. It says, put two uh, tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet and then add marinara sauce. Why do you need the oil? Like, what is it doing besides making your dish really high in fat and oily? It, I just don't get why you, it's, I don't get why that's there. It's not help, anyway, sorry, I'm done, I'm sorry. Thanks for bearing with me while I did that. Yeah, then you just, you put the sauce in, some water. Here's a hot tip for when you empty your tomato sauce jar, if you don't know this already. Fill it full of a little bit of water and splash it around and then pour that out too. It dilutes it a little bit, but you also get extra sauce. And you toss the noodles in and they cook in there. And then it says to add arugula, which we don't have, but I do have spinach. I bought arugula. You bought arugula? All right, so I'm putting arugula in. Thanks, Willie. Glad you were here. You add lentils and you top it with the same lemon ricotta I already made for the other recipe. So you'll just be seeing the same B-roll that I already shot for that over here because I don't need to shoot it twice. How is it, Amy? Good. Yeah? <laughs> It would be better if the ricotta was warmed up. We're kind of cold. You mix it all around? Mm -hmm. You thought the arugula tasted like skunk? Mm -hmm. So Annie didn't notice that. So we're in good shape already. But I don't think, it, I think it's fine. Like, this is what I it's wanted. because you've never been there when the dog got initially sprayed. Oh, I know what skunk smells like. I grew up in the it's, country. It's different. Close up. Oh. Anyway, we did another video with a one pot pasta. This is what I wanted it to taste like. Yeah, this is good. You know, hamburger helper. It's kind of what she said it was. But. I actually don't know what that tastes like. I've never had it. Oh. Well, legitimately though, it's because of the lentils. Like legitimately, you could make this in about a half an hour. And the ricotta should be mixed in, otherwise it's cold. It's weird or heated. I agree, up. I agree. You can have a warm meal and a cold blob on it. Blobby. This is a great quick one night meal. We'll see what the boy thinks if he ever gets his butt up here. One hour later. It's kind of plain. It's better than that other one pot pasta we had though, right? Yeah. It's so plain. It's just kind of like sludge. <laughs> it's not like sludge. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make Thai tacos. There's no photo here. So I have no idea what these are supposed to look like, but you know, I know Thai food. So this seems simple enough, but there's a lot of steps to this. What I like about this is I'm using uh, corn tortillas and I gotta make my own hard tortillas in the oven. I've never done that before. And worst case scenario, I have a backup in case I screw these up, which I probably will, let's be honest. So what do we do for this? Uh, I think I have all the ingredients, so I don't have to make any swaps. We make a sweet and sour slaw to go inside of it. And then we make, the taco mix is like a cauliflower, walnut crumble that you put a bunch of flavorings on and then you bake in the oven. And then it's like a, a spicy peanut sauce that goes on top of it. The tacos are interesting. We're gonna microwave these in a damp towel and then just hang them over the bars or the racks inside the oven for like eight to 10 minutes or until they're firm. Uh, I guess the trick to this is to keep an eye on them so they don't burn. All right, my family is on their way home from going to get fruit in Niagara, which means they had a long drive, so they're probably gonna be cranky, but we're gonna have lots of delicious fruit. Maybe I'll show you the haul. What do you have? Peaches. Why didn't you get the big bag of peaches? I only had the small bag this time. Weird. Look, we even got a branch. Oh, did they throw that in for free? Yeah, free branch. And you got 
And Where's, we've got cherries. 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 cherries, 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 cherries. <laughs> wash them because half of them fell on the floor and now they're covered in rice. They suddenly and they went flying. And I'm going to save those for my breakfast. Some of these turned out better than others. These funky, probably not super fresh tacos. Different cookbook. Now these are different because they have like a lot more spices. Yeah, that's good. You like it? Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Oh my god, yeah, it takes a second, then it really hits you, eh? Yeah. My new favorite. Is your new favorite? You haven't even tasted it yet. I know, it's just there's something about it. It's magical. It's got like tiny spices. You didn't even try, you put the smallest amount in. I did try it. It's gross. It's not gross. It's, it is. Well, it's gross to one of us. So Annie's being awesome and she's making her own tofu. You know what's so great? I love Thai food and I love tacos and now I can have them both at the same time. Messy, but delicious. Hey, what happened? Favorite folly party. So good. Yeah? So good. You like the walnut meat? I like that they, they use spices uh, to flavor the, the walnut cauliflower meat. The sauce is garlicky. The sauce is very garlicky? Yeah. Mm. But maybe too much. too much. Too much garlic in the sauce. No. I'd put more um, mango in the slaw. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> is that better? Layer of flavor on layer of flavor. And then that spice kicks in at the end. This is one of my favorite things I've made from these cookbook re review things that I'm doing. Like, isn't it it's beautiful? I didn't put that much effort into making it beautiful. All right, let's see what Annie thinks of her homemade tacos. She's Wait. still gonna have the slaw and the sauce, though. Like, sweet and salty. You mommy. So for dinner, we're gonna make spaghetti and beef balls. And I'm exhausted. We're doing a renovation and I did work today. So do Willie. It's gonna be so great though. Yeah, uh, so I've already screwed up on this recipe uh, because I did all the other prep. I cooked beets, I cooked beans, but I didn't realize that I, I forgot the rice and it says you have to cool the rice before you use it. So Willie's making quick rice for me. You got this, you got this. It's gonna be fine, it's all gonna come together. It might not be cooled off completely before it goes in, but that's okay. So essentially it's just putting everything into the food processor in different stages. So mistake number two, because I guess the beets, it just says one and a half cup beets peeled and chopped. I assume that meant you cooked them in advance because how do you peel a beet without cooking it? And my wife said you peel the peeler. Peel the peeler. Yeah, uh, anyway, so these went, maybe they'll just be a little bit more moist though, right? That's not a bad thing. See what happens. Uh, welcome to PB with Jay. Uh, welcome to PB with Jay where I screw up all the recipes. So you don't have to. Ju judge this recipe with a grain of salt is all the same. We're, we're doing our best, people. I might just need to add more flour, right? It'll just be more liquidy. Maybe I can drain that out. Maybe I can just drain out some of that liquid. But do you cook, so do you cook the beet balls? Yeah, you cook them in the oven. So you may not need to cook them as long. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Interesting. Anyway. And then baking it. They bake for a long time though, they bake for like an hour. Uh, and I think there's no other vegetables with this other than the, the sauce. So I might add some broccoli or peas. We'll see what we got. And we have some basil still, right? Do we have fresh basil still? Yes. So we're gonna chop that up and put that in too. Try the beet ball mixture. I just had a little bit and I think it's really good. Mmm. Give it a second, the flavors really build. Yeah, you taste the basil. Basil, basil. Basil, basil. Basil, basil. I like it, it's gonna be good. And that's raw, I can't wait till it's cooked. It just smells like pasta sauce. Yeah. Like pasta sauce. That's I like it. It's made with beets. I mean, the flavor's okay, but I don't like the texture. Well, if it's when it's in the past, it'll soften up. Mm. 
I like them. It's like beets, soft on the inside. So I didn't screw the texture too much. No, I don't think so. I like them. I don't know what the texture was supposed to be, but I think they're really nice. They're crispy, soft on the inside. Good flavor. They are pink on the inside. I like it so much. This might be my favorite. Oh my God. What? You always say that. I always say it might be my favorite. <laughs> to every recipe. I was gonna say this might be my favorite, like new beet ball. What you always it, say? I've never made a beet ball. Yeah, this also, why can't I have a new favorite every time? What's gonna happen if you don't have a favorite? You just like them all. Are you calling me disingenuous? Yeah. Disingenuous? Dis what's that. the word? Disingenuous. Oh my god, this soup is my new favorite. Oh my god, these tacos are my new favorite. This sandwich, my new favorite. God forbid I try new things. This curry might be my favorite. Oh, are we doing impressions now? Here's my impression of Annie. It's not, it's not okay. It's not so bad, yeah. Is my impression. Oh god, I hate it. Oh god, I hate it. That's for you. Regardless of this one, I really like this. It's really packed full of flavor. I will say this, it was kind of a pain to make. All right, let's see what the boy thinks. It's okay. You've made better meatball things before, but... But it's my new favorite. No. Should be more savory. Fair enough. Really That's true. That is true. They do have a bit of a sweeter flavor but I really like them because of that. I think they're just like the most flavorful, but they're definitely not as savory as other ones we've made. So there's that. But uh, I don't know, I'd say this was the, a win. Is that safe to say though? It's good, like it's not bad? Yes. Yeah? And Annie liked parts of it. One more tip is that you could just make these bigger and turn them into beet burgers. Mm. For dessert tonight, we're gonna make a secret ingredient chocolate pudding. What's the secret ingredient, Willie? Shh, the secret. Fair enough. It's a sweet potato. You just realized the secret. But not for the kids. Don't ever have him try and keep a secret for you. Doesn't work. I would never lie to you, our lovely viewers. I'll lie to you all day long, Willie. What? It's a secret. I'm gonna keep this pretty similar to what they got in there. So this comes together pretty quickly, I think, um, but I pre-roasted some sweet potato. So you need to do that in advance before you make this. Otherwise, uh, no good. I think you can also just use leftover sweet potato if you got some. All right, this is pretty simple. Basically, you uh, you put everything into the, uh, it says food processor. I prefer that. I find if you make pudding in a blender, you lose like <laughs> at least five to 10% of it. It calls for one tablespoon of coconut oil. I do have some aquafaba, so I'd probably use that. Put everything in, you blend it, and then you gotta make sure it goes into the fridge for at least an hour or so. Mm. That's really good. You cannot taste the secret ingredient. Too sweet? Good sweet? No, it's perfect. And she says it gets sweeter as it, as it cools. Oh wow. Like you, you get sweeter as you cool. Mm. What are you talking about? There's a secret ingredient in this. Sweet potato. You said sweet potato was for dessert. You sweet just saw sweet potato earlier. Hmm, tastes like peanut butter. Not bad. I feel like almond butter. What's your rating? Oh, uh, A. It's an A? B. A B? I don't, uh, maybe a B minus if there was. Mmm, doesn't really like so it. So you do not like it. But you won't even eat more of it if you don't want a bowl of it? Mmm, just a little bit. Okay, so I'd say, I mean, I'd be honest, yeah, that's a C for you. Because if you'll have a little bit of it, that, that falls under C, I think. I like that a lot. Hmm, it's very nutty. Like, it's almost a little too nutty. I like it. I think it's an A. It's not quite an S. It's like an A for me. Not my favorite chocolate pudding I've ever made, but I like it. I'd make it again. Hmm, I don't know. B. A B? Hmm. It got more almond milky or almond buttery as it sat, I think. Yeah. But I still really like it. A. It's an A. I liked it. I think it was more of an adult thing than a kid thing, oh, ultimately. So if you're making this for kids, maybe not the favorite, but if you're making it for yeah, adults, really like almond 
better. Well, yeah, we're watching a movie in here. Yeah. yeah. One day we'll we're watch watching a movie in here. Today for dinner, I'm gonna make this farmer's market vegetable soup. It's pretty simple. It's a soup. You put everything into the pot and you cook it. <laughs> That's about it. I've made similar soups to this before, so I'm excited to see how it turns out flavor-wise. Uh, let's get some thyme. So I would have put potatoes in a version of this kind of thing, but they've got us putting rice in instead. The only thing I'm gonna shift because I'm making this into our, our dinner is I'm going to add some brown lentils to it as well, just to add a little bit more protein and whatnot, make it a bit heartier. Uh, that won't change the flavor very much at all. So yeah. Woody. Yeah. Soup. There's no tomatoes in it. <gasps> I love soup. No tomatoes? Yeah, no tomatoes. Yeah. So in terms of swaps, I'm gonna keep it as is. The only thing I'm gonna do is not include the olive oil because why? Why do you need olive oil? In this, all the vegetables will cook themselves in their own juices. It's a little salty, but I think it's okay. The rice in there? Yeah. Mm, I like salty. Well, he's good. It's divine. Divine. It's very nice. Ooh. My kind of soup. No zucchini. That's so good. It doesn't have tomatoes in it. <laughs> Where I'm like, hmm, it's like, I could use tomatoes. I'm like a little congested, so it's like kind of nice to have like a hot soup. Ooh. A little bit salty. Should we make it, should we make it spicier? No, it's kind of comforting. The thyme's almost too much, but I kind of like it. Thyme? Yeah, I put thyme in this like by making it. Because you know, it takes time to make soup. Get it? Uh, okay, there's a spice <laughs> called thyme. No. Okay, I'm trying it. No. No? You don't like it? You don't like it. Are you just good. dumping parts of it in? But this is it. That? No. But the rest of it's fine? This? Yes. You know what the soup needs? This? No. Mushrooms. <laughs> you are so mean! Are you from here? you bring some mushrooms? No! Why is there rice in it? Sometimes there's rice. Rice is for a curry or a shmurry. No, sometimes no. there's rice in soup. Yeah, instead of, so it's, it's instead of potato. It's hot. It's okay, could use potatoes. Should you prefer the potatoes to the rice? But the flavor's okay? Yeah. For dinner tonight, we're making a better burger wrap. This is another one of Carly's staple recipes in here is this vegan ground beef. So I'm curious to try it out because it uses sunflower seeds, eggplant, carrot, oats. It's uh, it's a cool idea. It's something I want to play with. So we have to make a flax egg. Oh, that's hard. Oh, look at this one over here. You gotta lay an egg? Gotta lay a flax egg. Good luck. Don't mind the adventure music in the background. The kids are watching up. So basically we're gonna make this and then cook it with a little bit more onion and garlic and then put it into a wrap with whatever burger toppings we want. It seems pretty simple enough. So to make this ground beef, I've already been soaking some sunflower seeds in some warm water for the last 20 minutes. Basically we're gonna add all the other vegetables into the food processor and then just pulse it until it's done to like a ground consistency. Then we're gonna add the flax egg and then we're going to bake it for just about 25 minutes and then it recommends broiling it for two minutes to make it crisp on top. So stop yakking, Wooly, and get on it. Yeah, yeah. Get to it, Wooly. Yeah, yeah. Don't I made some chips too, using the dough prickle brine that was left over from the other day. All right. Dad. Mm-hmm. Can you help me? I like that a lot. I have to go help Annie wrap her burger. I'll tell you what I think in a second. Stay tuned. Later. I really like that. Yeah, you're having yours as a bowl with rice. Yeah, it's not like 
I'm talking about this, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the burger thing. It's not like overpowering. It's not trying to taste like a meat taste. It's just like a really nice, it's just like a really nice, uh, different way to have some protein. What's in it? Sunflower seeds, um, carrot, eggplant, and then seasonings like soy sauce, chili powder. It's really nice. What? Oh, stop it. You really don't like it? No, I do like it. Why'd you say that? Why'd I, I say what? I wanted to know if there was nuts or tofu or anything in it. Or, Sunflower, you can take it to school. What, what part of the grocery you already, Annie? Eggplant. Sunflower. Oh, really? you can't even taste it. I know, it's fascinating. It doesn't even taste like, like that sunflower seed taste. No, it's just fatty. Well, how come you ended up with so many chips? Oh, because I made them. What do you give it? S. I would definitely ask for this again. Any? A B. A B? It's really good because normally she doesn't like anything that's kind of like meat at all. It's meaty, but it's not like, it doesn't taste like a Beyond Burger. But it's still got a nice spice mix in there. Yeah, this is an S. Like just the fact that the fact that you could take this to school. It's not just another tofu thing. I'd never know that this is sunflower seeds. If you made a bowl too. That was kind of long. The meat had a good texture and flavor. Sometimes I feel like it has a weird aftertaste. This does? No, sometimes, but this doesn't. Oh yeah? Nice. So you'd like that? And you can use that in so many things. I know. That'd be good on top of nachos. Can you turn it into a patty? Uh, I think you'd have to have more of a binder. I think it's meant to be like a ground beef. And a little sweet, but... It's sweet? The meat a little bit. There's nothing in there that's sweet, though. It might be your toppings. Who would you give it? Mm. S. Nice! It's good when you don't look at it. But it's a B for you? Maybe right. like an F A minus. Oh, upgrade. Like a bad A. Gotcha. I'm going to make fudgy beet brownies. I made beets the other day for the other meal we made, so now I'm going to turn them into a dessert. I've never used beets in a dessert before, but I've used stuff like sweet potato and whatnot, and I can't imagine it would be a different thing. I'm curious what the earthy flavor will do to it, but in a, in a brownie, I bet it's going to be a good thing. So... I'm kind of excited to throw this together. It seems pretty simple. It's, uh, what I'm excited about is that it's it's a brownie using ingredients I haven't used before, like a chickpea flour, walnuts inside of it, so mixed into the milk mixture, like a fat. So uh, let's see if this is, becomes a new brownie favorite in our house. We've already got some brownie recipes we really like, so let's see if this one compares. Looks like a pink milkshake. <laughs> yeah, you want to try this milkshake? Yeah. Come here. What is that? There's three ingredients in there. Where are they? <laughs> One of those was correct. <laughs> I'm using it for a brownie. Yeah. It's gonna be good. I'll have those brownies. Yes, you will. You're gonna try and don't tell your sister. Today we are cutting brownies. It has this pink goo in it that dad made. Never mind. No, it does not. Come on, just eat it. Don't listen to Evie. Look, Wait. At, the, look at the color of it. It's like red velvet. You put beets in it. Yeah, it's beet brownies. <sighs> Yum, yeah, but I have to blow my nose. It's really good. I'll tell you after. We think she's got a bit of a cold. Sorry if that's gross for you. Ow, mother! Oh It's bitter. A little bitter? A little. But you're eating, you're still eating it. It's good, but it's so bitter. It's chunky one for a chunky dad. Thanks. You're welcome. And nice and gooby. Yeah? I got some stuff in my braces, don't I? 
Yes. I'm sorry. That's okay. Sorry, YouTube. It's nice and chewy and chocolate. You need to try this recipe. That's way better than I thought it was gonna be. I tried the batter before I baked it. I thought it was gonna be awful. Because it's chick, well, it's chickpea flour, mm. which has a very strong flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't taste it the way I taste it in the batter. So I'm really. Hi, I'm a super taster. And he's a super taster. I'm shocked that I like this as much as I do. I really, really like it. It's soft, it's moist. It's what I really think. I love that it looks like a brownie. Because a lot of the ones we've made are like half the height and they just don't look gooey, but. Mm. Yeah, it's like a little dark chocolatey. Even though it's very smushy, I would say it's slightly dry for a brownie. Because mm. brownies often are a little more moist. Moist than that, but it's really good. But it's a winner. All around winner. Mm -hmm. Hi again. I hope you really liked this compilation of all my favorites. If you did, like and subscribe down below and leave a comment. I'd love to know. Uh, which one you tried or which one you're interested in trying and how you enjoyed it. And maybe you want to try this video next. Which video is that? I don't know, the one over my shoulder. <laughs>